Bill, I am currently engaged, but I'm kind of over it. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> wow. I am. Let, let me read that again. Let's let's all just take a deep breath and let's take that. Uh, take when it's time to change. Um, let's take that one in again. Uh, I am Bill. I am currently engaged, but I'm kind of over it. Um, you know what? I might need the help of a female on this one. Hey, Nia. Nino, you want to help me on this one? I got a relationship question. You ever get the feeling your girlfriend's mad at you and you haven't even done anything? I think I just heard it exhale. What's that? You can't talk because your voice you're making lunch? Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm recording right now. Yeah, and you hit me with this attitude. I'm sorry. She. How? What I want, I, I just had a, a, Jesus, this is getting really awkward. Yeah, all right. My girlfriend's under the weather, and I actually forgot. She told me she was under the weather like 20 minutes ago, and that's how self-absorbed I am. Cleo, get down. All right. Just listen to this, okay, because I think I also need, like, female help on this one. Could you take your hands off your hips and stop staring at me like that? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> do you not want to do this? If you don't want to do it. Okay, okay. Bill. I am currently engaged, but I'm kind of over it. <laughs> she just laughed. Huh? This is a female. This is why I have you in here. Can you just talk to the people with your voice here? Hi, how are you? <laughs> you sound like Demi Moore. I like that. You know what? I already talked about Andrew McCartney, right? Brought up Rob Lowe. I got the whole Brad Pack here. Why don't you? You don't trust me. You got to look on your face like you're not trust me, like I'm going to make you look stupid. I'm not. I generally want your help on this. It's a low-budget podcast. We only have one microphone. All right. I'm currently engaged, but I'm kind of over it. Um, I love him, but our relationship isn't working anymore. I keep making excuses like my schedule has changed. I'm working and going to school, so I'm just stressed, et cetera, uh, et cetera. But uh, honestly, the excuses aren't working anymore. I want us to get back to when we were having fun and sex and not arguing. He gets frustrated he gets frustrated with me when I don't want to cuddle with him at night or fuck him at four AM <laughs> when I when I have to get up at seven in the morning to go to work, uh, then come home at five and cook him dinner and get to sleep by eleven. And then she writes, Okay, pause in the email. Um, why does he want to fuck or cuddle at four AM when I'm sleeping? Is this like a guy thing? I don't understand what he's thinking. This is my argument. It's four in the morning. Number two, he's half asleep, which means I'll have to wake up and get on top and do all the work. What the fuck? Number three, if I don't sleep, I'll be cranky in the morning. Then I'll be mad at me because I'm being a total bitch. And four, I'm being, uh, I like being alone. I love sleeping by myself. Granted, in the beginning, it was fun to sleep next to him, but now I want my own bed back. I don't understand what it is that he's thinking. Okay, continuing. I guess she was digressing here. I'm almost done here. All right. Are you enjoying this here? You, okay. She's shaking it in. She's got a very serious look in her face. This is why I brought her in. An expert. This is like Oprah. Our relationship expert. Okay. Here we go. Um, we are planning to move in together, but it's not a good idea because I'm not really in the relationship anymore. I'd rather be alone. In addition, is there an axe murderer outside? <laughs> in addition... <laughs> I just really realized that that was. Massacre. Yeah. All right. In addition, um, come close to the mic, sweetie. Here we go. Sit down. Take a load off. You're not feeling well. Um, in addition, he's the first man I've ever had sex with. Don't read this because you read way faster than me. Just listen to my the soothing tones of my awful voice. <laughs> you just snorted when you laughed. That's adorable. She's the first. He's the only person she's ever had sex. Yeah. With. Now don't don't comment yet. Okay. We're building it up. We got the listeners riveted at this point. Okay, someone's being hacked to death outside. <laughs> um, in addition, he's the first man I've ever had sex with. Um, I am faithful to him, but when we have days like these, I think, is this really as good as it gets? I'm sure he's thinking the same thing when I'm being an asshole. <laughs> That's the femur right there. That's the, You really got to give the chainsaw full fucking force there. Um, oh, well, they, they're taking out that tree over there. Yeah. 
Okay. Yeah, the sick tree. We had a sick tree. The tree had AIDS on our block and just keeled over. It was very sad. We 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 stood out there with candles. It had tree AIDS. It had tree. It, it was HIV positive. I'm not making light of AIDS. I'm making Jesus. Jesus. I don't know who to get more offended. That you're trashing Jim Norton. You're saying that I'm ripping him off. You do not. <laughs> Why is my voice cracking? You do not. All right, let's get back to this. I don't know. I could totally be seeing this from a fucked up spot. Actually, I think I am because he's great. Now she's going back this way. She must have her period this week. She's all over the map. Ow. Did you really have to punch me right fucking there? All right. He gives me whatever I want. And as far as material things go, typical broad. He buys me stuff. He's great. <laughs> I don't want to fuck him anymore, but look at all this stuff. Um, <laughs> um, he listens to me. Seriously, I'm taking this one seriously because I think this girl's in a serious situation here. Um, that's why I keep saying serious as many times as I can in the sentence. Seriously? Seriously. Um, he listens to me whenever I whine, and he has conversations with me that show me life from a different perspective, and he's willing to work at our relationship and is committed to me. Those are the things that I love about him. Da, 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 right? I am getting through it. I got to do fifth. She just gave me the sign. Wrap it up. All right, fine. You're speaking for the listeners. I'm going. Uh, but I can't live like this anymore. This girl is all over the map. I told him once that I wanted some space, like I wanted to wake up alone some days, and he blew it out of proportion and says, okay, I'll give you plenty of space. Let's break up. He did that shit. Um, and then she said, I asked if that's what he wanted. Because that wasn't because that wasn't looking like the worst option in the world. Oh, Jesus. But his voice cracked and he said, no, that's not what I want. So long story short, I'm still waking up to him. He still asks why we can't fuck at 4 a.m. and we're still engaged. I'm willing to say if we can make a few adjustments in our relationship. I'm willing to stay if we can, uh, if we can make a few adjustments in our relationship. Otherwise, how do I get out and hurt him the least? All right, here we go. I brought in a female for this one because I know, I know what. You want me to tell you what I'm thinking first? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. Um, she needs to break up with him. Okay, and why? Yeah. Because she doesn't love him anymore. She's not in love with him. She recognizes all his good traits and stuff, but that's not a reason to stay with someone. If she can't give him what he needs, because at no point did she say, well, no, she talked about him wanting to cuddle and this and that and other. I think the 4 a.m. doesn't mean anything. I think he just wants to be close to her, and that's the one time that maybe she slows down and is in bed, and that's where he can wrap his arms around her and, and do all that sort of thing because it sounds like she's super busy all the time, so he wants to spend that time with her. So she, let's stay on track here. So why, why do you feel like she should break up with him? Because she's, she's not in love with him anymore, clearly. She's not in love with him anymore. She loves him. He's a great guy. Um, but she's not in love with him. Yeah, she no, she isn't. It off. Yeah, I think that she's bringing up the good traits is she's trying to convince herself to stay in the relationship because yes. she doesn't want to hurt him. Yes, she wants to be alone. She's not ready to get married, and that's fine. He's going to be heartbroken no matter what because obviously he is in love with her. He wants to work it out, but it's cliche, but it's like if she really loves him, then she will let him go so that he can find somebody okay. that well, wants to do all that kind of stuff that she's right. – not because she's a bad person. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute before we get going. Before we get going, let's. What, what's the? What's the? Uh, how, what? <laughs> this is a great topic for the podcast. Breaking up with somebody sucks because you get. You know they're going to start whimpering. Mm -hmm. You know, and you're going to dry their tears with the dirty pages of a TV guide. And uh, <laughs> I don't know. I was thinking about a coffee okay. table. What would be on the? Co I always break up girls near a coffee table. Do you? Well, yeah. Well, you're not going to be sitting on the bed. You know, in the bed, you're going to want to fuck. No. Um, sorry. I just sometimes say dumb shit on this. Um, what, what, is, what is the best way? What is the best way to break up with someone to hurt them the least? Do you have a technique? No. There's no way. Well, could you try to be funny on this thing and just try to come up, <laughs> come up with a technique? Um, I, I, ha I got one for you. Send an e send, a, send them a card mm -hmm. that is actually for like a good occasion. So it'll have like balloons and like silly animals on it. Congratulations! Yeah, and, and on then the inside it says I'm breaking up. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you just <laughs> you cross out all the good stuff. You yeah. or you add words. Yeah. You aren't the love of my life. But there's gonna be all this this these 
cool pictures. You have a new life. Congratulations. She could find um, a girl to, oh, she could be like, oh, let's have a threesome and find like a really hot, sexy, funny, amazing girl. And they all have like dinner and drinks and they all have a good time. Go back to the bedroom and they all start doing it. And she could slowly slip out. And she's got her bags packed already. Yeah, it's like, you know what? That's like. She drives drives away while the two of them are having, like, probably amazing sex. That's fucking awesome. Never sees him again. (laughs) But he's left with this really awesome girl. Yeah, and you know what's funny? You know what's funny? Is he would get no sympathy. He went to the bar. He's like, my girlfriend broke up with me. Oh, God, dude. How she did it? How did she do it? Was she fucking. We had a threesome, and I start this unbelievably hot girl. I start banging, and she just slipped out of the window. I'd be like, wait a minute. That's like, you know what that's like? That's like as a comedian if you have to cancel a gig, but you, you do the effort to give them a replacement yeah. comedian, so there's, there's no pain. Yeah, that's what she should do. Ladies and gentlemen, how about a round of applause? I knew there was a reason I brought you, and that was fucking awesome. Fucking Nia. There you go. Good for you. Good for you. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for being on the podcast. Absolutely. This is, you know what? This is this weird thing. Like when you do a panel on a talk show, uh-huh. and no matter what, when the person wraps it up, you, feel, you still feel slighted. Like I was just killing there. We're going to commercial? Well, listen, thanks a lot. Good luck on your movie. We're going to be right back with the Monday Morning Podcast. That was fucking awesome. High five. Yeah. There you go. Go make me a sandwich. <laughs> All right, huh? How fucking cool is she? Jesus Christ! There's no reason to even to even try and top that one. I was I thought that was going to be a new uh, a new segment on the podcast. Well, if she ever breaks up with me, she better fucking do it that way because that would. Uh... <laughs> I wonder how long into the threesome you did before you actually fucking discovered it. You know, and is that technically a threesome? You know, because if you didn't bang the other person. You know what that's like? That's like you get a base hit, but you fall down in the way of the first base, and then the right fielder throws you out. Is it, Bill? Is that what it's like? I don't think it is. 